Erica Biancastelli, Team Italia, Scrapyard Dogs. What a wonderful victory over Puerto Rico, a shutout, 7-0 mercy rule. How are you feeling in California today? Oh, I love being back home. It's nice weather, palm trees everywhere. Um, but I'm just excited to have my family here and watching me and some of my friends here too. Absolutely. Congratulations on graduating from McNeese. Wonderful school, great experience, three-time All-American. You must have some memories you'd like to share with us. Um, McNeese was great. It was a great experience. Um, the best four years I think I've ever had playing softball. Um, the coaches helped me tremendously and the girls were always there supporting me. So I think McNeese is always going to have a place in my heart and um, I have to thank them for where I am today. And then going all the way for the national championship and squeaking out a day to fly to Rome and shoot a video for Federazione Italiana Baseball Softball. What was that experience like? That was amazing. Um, it was very tiring, but definitely worth it. Uh, flying and then doing a shoot overnight, not sleeping and then flying back. Um, definitely something I wouldn't trade for the world. Just being able to be back in Italy, even if it was just for 18 hours, just being able to eat some food, stay with my friends and just be in Italy. So tell me about that special bond with the motherland, sweet Italia. How special of a place is it considering mother played for Team Italia and you are doing the same thing? Is it like prophecy, full circle, fulfilled? It is, it is a dream come true for me. Um, just being able to represent my country and playing and following my mom's footsteps. Uh, just, just being able to be in Italy with all my family and, and being able to say that I'm home and playing for my home country is awesome. Now tell me about uh, your strategy going into this World Cup competition in Japan, which uh, plays into the 2020 Olympics, feeds right into that. Uh, what are you going to do as the captain for Team Italia? I think going to Japan is definitely a building block for us. It's where we're going to see where we're at right now and just um, compete as hard as we can and just really put our name out there and really show show everyone where Italy is right now. And um, I think Japan's going to be a huge milestone for us and to see what, what we need to improve on and where we need to be 20, when 2020 comes. Talk about your coaching staff. Enrico and Lisa and Federico and the entire crew. What element do they bring to the table each and every game? I think they bring a lot of elements. They bring energy, they bring grit, they bring competition. I think they really know what, what they're doing and they know where Italy is trying to go in the next few goals. And I think they're the best people to push us at practice every day and, and in games. And I think they really, they believe in every single player. And I think that really shows and um, it just brings us closer as a team and just makes us want to keep competing. Now, what do you want to say about the young people in Italy who are learning the game? Um, what are you doing to encourage them to embrace softball? Um, I'm just going to tell them to really just keep playing and keep taking in every moment, um, every practice that they can get, every skill, every hitting practice, every pitching practice, anytime they can really get a chance to play softball just to take it in and, and learn everything as fast as they can. Um, I think softball is growing in Italy right now and I think that if everyone just continues to keep believing in softball, believing in Italy and um, growing together as teams combine, I think it's a great, great area to start. What about the mental framework of a player? You as a catcher being involved in every play, what do you see as your role on the field as the captain for Team Italia and keeping your pitching staff under control? I think as a catcher, it's a huge role. Um, like you said, you see the whole entire field, so you see, you see every play, you see where the ball should go, and, and also knowing your pitcher and knowing what it is that they need to calm them down or what they need from me as a catcher to to let them know what they're doing wrong or where they need to hit their spots i think having that catcher pitcher communication and relationship is very important so i think not only just being a catcher and being a leader on the field but also having that relationship with your team and and being the captain is very important and how did the scrap 
backyard dogs come into play? Were you heavily recruited and you felt like this was the right fit for you? Yeah, I think playing with Scrapyard Fast Pitch was uh, the perfect fit for me. I mean, I was located in Houston for the summer, so that was kind of where I've been for four years, just two hours away. And um, just knowing that they get to play international teams, which is a huge thing for me, especially getting ready to go and train with Italy. And uh, just being with all these great girls and learning from them for three months is, is a great experience. And I think it's, it's a very big deal and um, will help me a lot in the next few years. What are your uh, goals and immediate plans for the future? Um, right now, our goal is always uh, just to train for 2020. That's the big, biggest goal is to qualify for the Olympics. And then um, for me right now is just to continue to play as much softball as possible, whether that's in Italy or here, just going back and forth and just really playing softball and learning more and more. Well, you truly are the face of Italian softball, and we thank you for your great contributions personally and your family, um, the whole Italian baseball and softball family are totally indebted to your contributions so thank you so much thank you ciao ciao forza italia